Dear learners today, the focus of my presentation is grounded theory designs, types, characteristics, designs, steps in conducting a GT research, strengths and weakness of GT. Let us first try to understand what is grounded theory design. Grounded theory designs refer to a set of qualitative research methods and strategies that are specifically geared toward developing theory grounded in the data collected during the research process. Grounded theory, as a research approach, was initially developed by sociologists Barney Glazer and Anson Strauss in the 1960s. Since then, various researchers, including Kathy Chalmas, have further developed and expanded grounded theory methodology. Grounded theory designs are characterized by their inductive approach, constant comparison, theoretical sampling, and the integration of data collection and analysis. They are particularly well-suited for developing theories grounded in the experiences and perspectives of the participants in the study. Characteristics of Grounded Theory Designs 1. Inductive Approach Grounded theory is primarily an inductive approach to research. It involves building theories from the ground up based on the data collected rather than testing pre-existing hypotheses. 2. Emergent Design the design of the study emerges as the research progresses. There is a deliberate attempt to stay open to the data, allowing concepts and theories to develop organically. 3. Constant comparison Constant comparison is a key feature. Data is analyzed and compared as it is collected, allowing researchers to refine categories and develop a deeper understanding of the phenomenon under study. 4. Theoretical Sampling Grounded theory involves purposeful and theoretical sampling, where the selection of new participants or data sources is guided by emerging concepts and theories. 5. Conceptualization and Abstraction The process involves the continual conceptualization and abstraction of data, moving from specific incidents to broader categories and eventually to theoretical frameworks. 6. Integration of data collection and analysis Data collection and analysis occur simultaneously, with the researcher moving back and forth between collecting new data and analyzing existing data. 7. Saturation Theoretical saturation is a point in the research process when new data ceases to yield additional insights or categories. It indicates that the theory has reached a point of completeness. Let us now try to understand types of grounded theory. Grounded theory, GT, can be broadly categorized into two main types, classic grounded theory and constructivist grounded theory. Both types share the foundational principles of inductive reasoning, constant comparison, and theoretical sampling. Let's explore these types with examples from education research. One classic grounded theory developed by sociologists Barney Glazer and Anson Strauss, emphasizes generating theory from data without preconceived categories or hypotheses, aims for a high level of abstraction in developing concepts and theory. Example, how do high school teachers facilitate the development of critical thinking skills in their students? 2. Constructivist Grounded Theory developed by Kathy Charmaz as a response to critiques of CGT, recognizes the role of the researcher in shaping the analysis, acknowledges that knowledge is co-constructed between researchers and participants. Example, how do students experience online collaborative learning environments? Designs in Grounded Theory In Grounded Theory, GT, the design refers to the systematic and flexible plan that guides the research process. Grounded theory designs involve specific strategies and steps to allow for the emergence of theory from the data. Here are the main designs used in grounded theory. 1. Open coding. This involves breaking down the data into discrete parts and assigning codes to those parts. Process. Analyze data line by line identifying concepts, and assigning open codes. Codes are often descriptive and capture the most basic elements of the data. 2. Axel coding focuses on connecting codes and categories to explore relationships between them. 
process, codes from open coding are grouped into categories. The researcher explores relationships between categories, looking for patterns and connections. 3. Selective coding involves identifying a core category and refining the theory around it. Process, one category is identified as the core or central concept. Theoretical sampling continues with a focus on collecting data to support and refine the core category. 4. Theoretical coding aims to integrate and refine the theory developed through open, axial, and selective coding. Process involves making connections between categories and concepts. Focuses on developing a coherent and comprehensive theory that explains the phenomenon under study. Steps in conducting grounded theory research 1. Data collection Gather data through methods such as interviews, observations, or document analysis. 2. Initial coding Analyze data line by line, generating initial codes that represent the most basic concepts. 3. Constant comparison Compare codes within and across data, looking for patterns and relationships. 4. Theoretical sampling Select new participants or sources of data based on emerging theory needs. 5. Theoretical coding Identify core categories and explore relationships between them. 6. Saturation Continue data collection until no new insights or categories emerge. 7. Integration and writing Integrate the theory and write the final report, emphasizing the grounded nature of the theory. Strengths of Grounded Theory 1. Flexibility Grounded theory is adaptable to various research contexts and allows for emergent insights. 2. Rich Contextual Understanding It provides a detailed and contextually rich understanding of social phenomena. 3. Theory Development Grounded theory is particularly strong in generating new theories from the data. Weaknesses of Grounded Theory 1. Subjectivity. The researcher's influence is acknowledged, and the interpretation of data is subjective. 2. Time-consuming. The iterative nature of grounded theory, with constant comparison and theoretical sampling, can be time-consuming. 3. Generalizability. Grounded theory is often criticized for not producing findings that are easily generalizable to broader populations. Thank you don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Education and Teacher Education at Shokin Bilal.